Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Rita. Thank you so much for stopping by. So for today, we have quite a different video. You can probably get an idea with what's happening behind us. So a subscriber asked me to compare Lisa Eldridge lipsticks to Charlotte Tilbury and probably try to find similarities in shades. That's what we're gonna be doing today. But before we get into the video, if you could please go ahead and subscribe to my channel, all you need to do is hit this red button down here so you don't so miss any of the upcoming tell, I'm a big fan of both brands. I love lipstick. In general, I feel like the very first encounter I had with real makeup, not with uh, nail polish, because that was actually my first encounter with, I guess, beauty products, was nail polish. But as a real makeup product, it was lipstick. So I've always loved lipsticks. Ever since I have memory, it was like the one product that I was so excited about. But yeah, like I was mentioning, one of my subscribers asked me to look a little more into these lipsticks. So I was very excited and also very intrigued with this because as a lipstick collector, which I would consider myself a lipstick collector, collector for sure, I've never really thought of all this. I've never really thought to find dupes or to find similarities between lipsticks, between brands. I just see a lipstick that I like and I get it. I don't really think about like, oh, do I have a pink that looks like this already? Not really. So that being said, I was pretty, pretty surprised by the lack of similarity between both brands. I did not really find any, not even exact dupes, but not even like similar lipsticks between Charlotte and Lisa. We'll get into that in a minute, but first let's really talk about formulas. So from Charlotte Tilbury, I have a matte formula and a satin formula, same as Lisa Eldridge. There are also a lot of differences between these two formulas from both brands. So I feel like the satin from Lisa is going to be very different from the satin from Charlotte Tilbury. And likewise, matte from Lisa, it's very different from the mattes from Charlotte Tilbury. Lisa does have two matte lipsticks. The original True Velvet is going to be the very first one she released. These ones are probably the most loved by everyone, especially her red lipsticks. They were so desired by so many and they ran out of stock immediately the first time she released them. After that original release, I believe she released them once again, but first she had the new collection released and with this new collection i really can't remember the years at this point um she came out with another different kind of matte lipstick which i don't believe it's gonna be called a true velvet i'm pretty sure it's not let me just grab one real quick sadly i really don't know the name of this formula like it's like the true velvet and then you've got the luxuriously i have the luxury here the luxuriously lucent, lucent lip color. I really cannot talk right now. But the satin formula. And then she has this other matte, which this came out with her second collection. This one is in the shade Sky Crape, Sky Craper Rose. So this is different from the True Velvet, but also a matte formula. Even the bullet is going to be different from the True Velvet, which kind of like has a more velvety um, look to the actual product. So just for comparison, so you can actually see the bullets and how different they really are to each other. These are both of her matte lipsticks. This one is going to be the True Velvet. This one is in the shade Velvet Ribbon, the most stunning, perfect red ever. And then this one is her other uh, matte formula. This one is again in Skycraper Rose. Moving on from those two matte lipsticks from her line, she came out with uh, this uh, line that's going to be the Luxuriously Lucent Lucent Lip Color. I really don't know how to pronounce that word, so do not kill me. Basically, her satin line. These are going to be satin lipsticks. And I've got here in my hand uh, Kitten Mischief. On my lips, I also have one of these ones. It's going to be Atomic Cherry, which is the red one from that collection this year. So this is going to be a very different satin from Charlotte. So Lisa's satin is really more of a... Like it's beautiful on the lips, it's going to be very comfortable, very uh, hydrating, but it's not going to have as much pigment comparing it to Charlotte's. So this one is going to be a very light pigmentation, like you can definitely build it up, but it's still going to be a more... A less pigmented lipstick just over. So it really, it just depends on what you're looking for on a satin uh, lipstick. I really, really love with all my heart Charlotte Tilbury um, satin lipsticks, which she actually calls the kissing formula. It is 
like the prettiest, the most comfortable and best satin formula ever. I love Lisa's, but it has nothing in comparison with Charlotte. They're very different, so I really, I don't know if you can compare them to each other in that same category. I guess you can, because they're both satin, but they're not even remotely close to each other. Lisa, again, is going to be more of like a lighter pigmentation on the lips, something that you can definitely uh, build up to a medium coverage, if that makes sense with lipstick, but it's not going to be that intense pigmentation, comparing it like, let's say, her matte lipsticks. Her matte lipsticks from Lisa are just absolutely pigmented. With one swipe, you get full opacity and full color, just like you're seeing on the bullet. So these ones are not going to be that, that intense pigment as the matte ones. And then you go to Charlotte Tilbury, and then on her satin, which again, they're called the Kissing, you do get a lot of pigmentation. Show you a little bit better the difference in the formulas. Let's start with the mattes, and then we can move down to the satins. Just opacity-wise, let's start with the most opaque to the least one. So let's go ahead and try on the back of my hand. I'm going to do one of Charlotte Tilbury that's going to be the matte one, which by the way, her mattes are going to be called the matte revolutions. And then we'll go with two of Lisa's, the two different formulas that she has in matte lipsticks, her true velvets and the other one that I cannot remember right now. I'll post it here whenever I figure out what the name of those matte ones are, like that formula or that lipstick name. I'm going to go ahead and swatch. We've got here uh, Pillow Talk Intense. This one is going to be the darker version of the beloved pillow talk we have the swatches now in the back of my hand so the middle one is going to be the charlotte tilbury and this one is again in a pillow talk medium the three of these are going to be the matte formulas so we've got charlotte tilbury and then here to the right we're gonna have um lisa eldridge velvet decade so one of the true velvets this one is a more brownish shade of all of the ones that i have i wanted something in that kind of like same category of like brownish and then we've got rainbow spill which is the other matte one from lisa eldridge so not the true velvet not the true velvet formula but the other formula that i cannot remember the name of right now so you can see there that comparison on the matte so i don't know if the camera is not able to pick it up but you can see how the matte one from charlotte tilbury does have just a little bit of shine to it and you can barely barely see any on this one right here, which is going to be the other formula from Lisa. And then also here with Velvet Decade, you can also see very little shining compared to Charlotte Tilbury. So I feel like that's the biggest difference between these mattes. So Lisa's is going to be super opaque, super, super matte. That being said, I don't really find them to be drying on the lips. If you hear any scratches, it's obviously not me. That's my baby Pinto who's laying down right next to me. So yeah, both of these formulas uh, or both of these brands, both Charlotte and Lisa, are going to be true matte lipsticks. That being said, they're going to give you like a ton of pigment and they're going to be super opaque on the lips. But I do find that Charlotte's very matte formula is not as matte, like fully matte comparing to the Lisa ones. So it just really depends on what you like. I honestly love either one, but I cannot say that Charlotte Tilbury are going to be as matte. And if you're looking for like a true matte lipstick, definitely look elsewhere. Because uh, Charlotte Tilbury is not going to give you that intensity of matte as Lisa's. Personally, I absolutely love Charlotte Tilbury mattes. And two of them from the line happen to be... Two of my very favorite lipsticks of all times, which the first one is going to be the very famous Pillow Talk. I honestly feel like this is going to be the perfect everyday pinkish nude. It's just so perfect. It goes with everything. And there's a reason why this lipstick is so popular as it is. And then my second one, honestly, if I had to pick one favorite between two of this, of uh, these two, I think I would prefer Karina Star. This one is from the Hot Lips Collection. And this one is just the most unique shade. It's such a stunner. I feel like I don't have anything similar to my collection uh, to this lipstick. It's going to be a matte one, the Matte Revolution line. But again, it's not going to be that super matte lip compared to like comparing it to Lisa's. I do find that this just give you a, they just have a little bit more of give 
they have a little bit of more shine that might pick through but it still looks like a very matte opaque lipstick do you like comparing matte to matte that being said if you're looking at this by themselves on the lips you're like oh yeah that is a matte lipstick but if you're looking at this on a lip uh, matte lipstick this one and then you look at Lisa matte you can definitely see that. Speaking of favorites from the matte line my two favorite from Lisa happen to be Velvet Beauty which I really really wish I had lipstick whenever I was getting married. This is exactly the pink lipstick that I was going for. I mean don't get me wrong I found my favorite and perfect pink for my wedding but I would have definitely went for this one instead if it had existed when I got married. Then we've got Velvet Dragon. So this one is Velvet Beauty and this is Velvet Dragon. Velvet Dragon was released in last year's, like last November, December release. It's just a very, very different red. It's like a red with, um, I want to say with like a, a dark burnt orange. It is very, very unique. I'm going to go ahead and uh, swatch them, the four of them, on my hand in a minute. But I just wanted to show them to you like first close, uh, an up and close uh, shot. But yes, Velvet Dragon is such a unique shade. Like overall, just like in any other range of lipsticks that I've seen, that I've found in any formula. I mean, of course, it's just the matte formula. But just the shade is just a stunner. Let me go ahead and swatch Okay, so here them. we have the swatches. The first one is going to be... Uh, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, the very, very famous Pillow Talk, which is my favorite everyday lipstick. This is my absolute go-to for any makeup look, for any kind of eyeshadow that I'm going for, if I'm going to go for like a super, uh, a super nude, if I just want to put on some mascara, or if I want to go so smoky on my eyes, this is going to be my go-to. It's just perfect for everything. Then we move on to the beautiful, beautiful Karina Star. If you see a couple of glitters there that I can actually see in person, that's due to a <laughs> wearing a lip gloss and then kind of like reapplying when I had the lipstick. So that's, that's the little glitter that you can see there. And then we've got Velvet Beauty, which what a perfect name for it. It's just the most stunning uh, pink. And then we've got the breathtaking dragon, Velvet Dragon. This is just... Honestly, these four lipsticks, I probably shouldn't say this, but if I were to lose all of my lipsticks like at once and I had just to keep these four, I would be okay. I would panic and cry a lot, but I feel like this as being my four favorite, I would be so, sort of content because I'm thinking about other lipsticks like Satin was like, please don't take them away from me. But if I had to pick only four matte lipsticks to keep for the rest of my days, this four would be. Wow, we went there. We really went there. Anyway, let's move on with the satin. So now we have Lisa's uh, satin formula, which again, it's called Luxuriously Lucent. Lucent. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm going to stop apologizing for my accent. I don't know how you pronounce that word. Just, I don't know. <laughs> so this is going to be a very, very comfortable lip. And that's actually what I'm wearing today. This one is Atomic Cherry. It looks like it's going to be so pigmented and so intense on the... On the bullet but then once you translate it to the lips it's not gonna give you as much pigmentation as you could probably think whenever looking at it so that's the main thing with the satin ones from Lisa they're gonna be so comfortable on the lips and they're gonna be so beautiful and looking at them you're like wow that's gonna be a beautiful shade it's gonna be super intense but then once translated it'll give you that more of like a sheer formula it's still something that I really like but I feel like this formula is gonna be for someone who does not like to have like that huge pigmentation. That being said, if you like the intense pigmentation, then you just go for the True Velvet from her line. So the satin from Charlotte Tilbury is going to be very different because satin from Charlotte Tilbury will be still very opaque, but it's gonna give you that shine on the lips. It's gonna give you that comfortable on the lips whenever you're applying it and you know, throughout the day. So here we've got Atomic Cherry from Lisa and then here we got the Kissing Formula, which is the satin one, Bitch Perfect from uh, Charlotte Tilbury, which also happens to be one of my favorite on her line. So here they are side by side and just looking at them, you can, you can also see like here in the bullet how 
hydrating and how like shiny it looks even compared to Lisa's this one looks a little bit more shiny on the actual bullet so pigmentation I mean you can't really compare them because these ones are gonna be a very sheer formula and these ones are gonna be a very pigmented and uh, opaque formula so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them real quick okay so here we have this one is going to be atomic cherry which is the one that I have on my lips right now and this I don't know why this is so crooked and then this one is going to be bitch perfect so I'm gonna try to like pull my arm just so you can see them side by side so you can see how beautifully shiny they both are but you can see how opaque that Charlotte Tilbury is while the Atomic Cherry from Lisa, this one, is not as opaque and I did give a bunch of different swatches on this one to get that much pigmentation. I think that if you're looking for a more sheer formula that's gonna give you that beautiful satin finish, definitely go for the Lisa. But if you're used to a satin that's going to be more opaque, you definitely look look into the Charlotte Tilbury and I don't want to come across like I don't like the Lisa um, Lisa's satin formula because I do I really do love it but I feel like it's not gonna be for everyone it's going to be for someone who enjoys a more sheer formula which I do love a sheer formula especially for my everyday sometimes I just don't want to think about my lipstick I just want to throw something that's gonna look beautiful and it's not gonna give me that fussy work that a more matte or a more pigmented satin would. So these are gonna be, you know, comparable to each other because of the shiny that the satin gives you, but not really comparable to each other with pigmentation and opacity on the actual finished lip color. And of course that I have my two favorites. I wanted to pick another one but I just again wanted to only show you two favorites from each one of the categories. So for my satins from um, Lisa I had to pick Love of My Life and Dance Card. These are just, I almost did not pick Dance Card because I just wanted to, I wanted to restrain myself from getting the full collection because I was already spending quite a penny so she did release six new ones for this uh, this new release like a month ago from the six I only picked four so anyway uh, dance card was, was one that I almost left behind but I'm so happy I actually did end up picking because it's actually one of my favorites from the new collection and then we've got um, love of my life which actually was from last year but just got re-released with this collection this you know a month ago so here's Love of My Life and here's Dance Card. And for my two favorite from Charlotte Tilbury from her kissing line, so the satin line, we have In Love with Olivia from the Hot Lips 2 collection and then we've got Stoned Rose. So this is going to be very hard for me to say this, but Stoned Rose is probably my very favorite lipstick of all times. Like if I could pick a favorite lipstick, it would definitely be Stoned Rose by Charlotte Tilbury. It's just the most stunning lipstick ever. So let me go ahead and now swatch them on this arm because this one is getting These are the worst swatches in history, but come on. It, I did it with my left hand. So let's go ahead and check them out. So first we have In Love with Olivia. This is the most stunning everyday lipstick. It's so, so pretty. Then we've got my very favorite stoned rose. It's kind of like a like a pinky orange. I don't even know. It's like a terracotta color. I think that's what I would consider it. It's very, very beautiful. Up next we have Dance Card from Lisa Eldridge. And then finally, Love of My Life. So this four would cons be considered my favorite satin from each one this of this video. The let's discuss real quick the only four three shades that I found could be not 100% dupes, but very similar. I did not find any dupes within both lines. So I don't have any one lipstick that could duplicate Lisa to Charlotte and other, like, vice versa. So I only found three that could be similar, so those are the ones we're gonna talk about. So the very first one, uh, Velvet Muse, which I don't think you can find anymore on the Lisa Eldridge line. I'm pretty sure this was already gone. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it real quick. So keep in mind that these are not exact dupes. These are just the ones that I found closest to each other. So we've got Velvet Muse with Pillow Talk Medium. So this one is gonna be Velvet Muse 
and then next to it we've got Pillow Talk Medium. So you can see they are very similar. Not exact dupes again, but they are pretty similar in tone. So if you're looking for something like Velvet Muse but you really can't find it anymore, I would definitely suggest to look into uh, Pillow Talk Medium. This is the closest dupe that I could find. And honestly, I feel like once on the lips, it might not be... It might not be too distinguishable. Again, the matte, one, matte ones are going to be different because I do feel like Charlotte Tilbury has a bit more shine to their mattes compared to the Lisa, uh, especially the True Velvets. And here they are side by side. They don't really look as similar on the bullet, but once uh, swatched, I did find a lot of similarities. This next one, I'd, I think we got a pretty good dupe or very close, at least in my eyes. So we've got the very famous Pillow Talk, which again, one of my favorites from her line. And I found a lot of similarities with Velvet Fawn, another lipstick that I don't think you can find anymore. So I'm gonna show them to you side by side in case you're interested in maybe purchasing Velvet uh, Fawn. You can definitely look into Pillow Talk, which you for sure will find everywhere. So here they are side by side. Let's go ahead and swatch them next to each other. Again, not exact dupes, but very similar. So this one is going to be Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury, and next to it is going to be Velvet Fawn. And then for the very last ones, I wanted to find one from the new release. So I got uh, Kitten Mischief, which is such a beautiful everyday nude. I am so, so happy I got this shade. It is so, such a stunner. And then we're going to compare it to JK Magic. So let me show them to you real quick here side by side. Again, not exact dupes. None of these are going to be exact dupes at all. But they are the ones that resemble the most to each other. So here we have uh, JK Magic by Charlotte Tivory. And next to it we've got um, Kitten Mischief by Lisa Eldridge. So Charlotte and Lisa. There you have it you guys this was very fun for me to film and it was interesting to realize that even though i thought my charlotte Tilbury lipstick was pretty similar to each other because whenever i opened it up like i opened all the lipstick i was like wow charlotte Tilbury just looks the same really they are not comparing them within its own line they are very different to each other although most of the shades that i pick from her line are going to be more in that nudey pink category they're still very different so i'm glad that i actually saw that with my own eyes and swatching everything and then also such a good eye opener with lisa's lipsticks i realized that her lipsticks are very different like her shades are so different from anything that i have in my collection it was very hard to put those three down those three shades together like the very the ones that we just spoke about like similar duplicates because her line is very particular. I found that her lipsticks are very different from any that I have. I went above from just looking at Charlotte Tilbury comparing the shades to everything else in my collection and I really couldn't find anything similar. So I really do love that. So if you like uh, more unique shades, definitely look into Lisa's line. They are going to be very unique even with other lipsticks i'm not saying like i'm not a makeup expert and i'm not like a lipstick expert or like color expert but i just found them to be very well, that's unique for today i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe before you leave all you need to do is hit the subscribe button down here the red button that way you'll be notified of my videos and you won't miss any of the upcoming ones anyway you guys thank you i'll see you in the next one bye